You look great. Well, thank How you. cool Thanks. is this jacket? Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I uh, wanted a dress for the night. You know, I'm excited about the movie. So, yeah, what, what is it about this movie? Why are you excited about this one? It's a it's a fascinating combination of family drama and uh, horror, and uh, those are two of my favorite genres: family drama and horror. And <laughs> this movie, they collide. And I'm a big admirer of H.P. Lovecraft, and I always uh, admired Richard Stanley's movies. So I was happy to see uh, that we had a chance to work together because he hasn't made a movie uh, in 20 years. I wanted to ask you, as a past Oscar winner, have you been watching a lot of the films or any of the performances that yeah, are nominated? Yeah, it's, yeah? Really, it's, a it's really a competitive year, and I just think they should all get it. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know how you. I don't know how you. Come on, you had to have some favorites. Well, I, 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 I think that. Uh, you know, obviously Joaquin was fan fantastic, but Adam Driver, I think that's a very important movie. And um, I, I think anyone who's even considering divorce and families, that should be required viewing, because uh, having been through it, I mean, family law is absolutely the worst. How much are you loving your, your career right now? How much fun are you having? Well, I'm having a great time. I'm, I'm, I'm really loving it. I'm, I mean, I feel like I'm having a chance to work with great actors and really exciting directors. and. It's been, you know, 40 years now, you know, for, 40 years. How do you look like this? What is the, oh, what is the you. secret? Are you well, sleeping in hyperbaric chambers? No, no, I, I, I like to exercise. I've been exercising religiously since I was 12. So, really? Yeah. Every day? Yeah, yeah every day. What's the exercise? Like, what are you well, doing? I do, like, the elliptical. I do, like, between five and eight miles on the elliptical. And I, I just, it, it's great. It's just great for my mood and it's great for everything else. So when you're not working, what are you doing? Like, what is a typical day for Nick Cage? I spend time with my, my, my boys and uh, I like to read and I love watching movies. I'm a real cinephile. So, yeah? Yeah, oh yeah. I was really excited to interview you because I've been doing this job for almost 10 years and haven't had a chance to interview you. Yeah. And you're kind of an enigma. Like, you look right. you look up Nick Cage and I want to read some of the headlines are so amazing that I was like, come on, these are funny. Just tell me if any of these are true. Nicholas Cage awoken by a naked man with fudgesicle. Sadly, that's a true story. <laughs> How is that possible? It was terrifying. It was, I know it sounds funny, but it was terrifying. No, it was a home invasion. With a fudgesicle? He, he had been, I was living in Newport Beach, and he had been swimming um, in the canals. And when I was out of town working, he would go into my house. Okay, and he would funny. go through my wardrobe. And I was asleep at 2 in the morning, and my young son at that time was in the other room. And uh, I woke up, and there was a, a naked man who had got and got my leather jacket, eating a fudge sickle in front of my bed. And I, I, I just I woke up and I used verbal judo, and I just said, "Get out of my house!" And I, I, and I said, "What are you doing in my house?" And I said, "You got to leave, or I'm calling the police." Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.